Hello YouTube, <clears throat> we're doing another box opening. It has rained so much in the last two or three weeks. I'm thinking about building an ark. <laughs> I built everything else, I'm also built a boat because we, we're probably gonna need it. <clears throat> so it's rained so much, I've actually purchased a couple pairs of boots and a couple pairs of footwear that doesn't mind basically being in a <clears throat> rainstorm every day so you don't have to wear socks you just slip these rubber shoes on and walk through the puddles and then just leave them at the door so let's see what other water shoes I can get I'm just gonna start wearing flip-flops or uh, scuba gear maybe even uh what they call those uh, flippers i'm going to start wearing flippers instead of climbing gear and just swim to the top all right the idea behind this is i want something i can slip on keep it in my truck or my car and just slip in and out of them without having to tie them up, lace them up. Because a lot of our work we do is just like clean up. Today we worked, we didn't have any ponchos, so the customer gave us a couple garbage bags and we just ripped holes in the corners and a real hole in the top and put them over our head. So if you guys are working in the rain like we do, just carry a big old box of uh, yard cleanup trash bags they're the biggest uh, you can get because if you're like me or some of my guys we're like 3x 4x uh, when you wear ponchos they just rip out so it's better off just to use a trash bag um, these must be the same brand as the other one the ace work boots They, uh, I believe, have a they have a steel toe, and they're easy to get on. So, and they have a little sole here too. Probably not big enough for a to um, climb in a tree with, with uh, climbing spikes, but you never know. In a pinch, they might work. I don't know if they have a steel shank either. Probably not. But I did climb in a pair of boots the other day, and they worked fine. I climbed two, two pine trees, and my feet didn't hurt. So it is possible in a pinch if you're on a job and uh, you, want, you have to wear boots. Plus, too, they have the anti-skid sole on them. So I think everybody should have a pair of these in their car and their truck. Um, these were, let's see, these were, <clears throat> this is the packing slip. It doesn't say how much they were, okay. It's like four pounds, not quite four pounds. And, dang it, there's no, anyway, I'll have to get back with it. I think they're around like 50 bucks, 45, 50 bucks, but they're a little bit reinforcement there toes a little bit reinforced i'd rather have it all the way up over the top of the toe but there's some cushioning around the steel toe or composite toe but at least this way your toes are protected you're dry and you don't have to spend 20 minutes trying to figure out how to you know take everything off and put your boots on because i have a hard time bending over and putting boots on and off so i figured i would just get some low cut uh, boots that I could just put my pants over top or just wear with shorts. And uh, it'd just be a, if I like these, I'm probably gonna buy a couple pair. I'll keep one in each each truck. And you know, when you're working or you, bro you, you break a sprinkler line or water line, how mushy it gets, and then you get soaked and then you still have to clean up the yard. This would be a great way to alleviate that um, misfortune. So, Anyway, 
get yourself a pair of these if you like them. I'm going to wear them for a couple days and see how comfortable they are with or without socks. They do have an uh, insole in here that does come out. And that's what it looks like. And this is replaceable. I don't really like the fact that it has material on it because if that gets wet, that's going to stink. Um, but you can wear it without. See, there's it's flat. It's not really uh, like the other had holes in it. You could probably just slip your foot in there and then just go to the you know, drugstore and buy you some more of these insole. These are just a regular insole, nothing special. But at least they'll give you a little bit of comfort if you're wearing them all day. So let me try these bad boys on and see how they feel. Uh, I usually get 11s. I wear 10 and a half, but uh, here lately, nothing fits me but 11s. Oh, yeah, they just slide right on. So that's awesome. Slide right on. You don't have to even uh, use a shoehorn or anything. You don't have to bend over. And they pop right out, too. So that was one of my main concerns is put taking them on and off. So... Basically, they just, just kind of suction off. Let's see. They have a little tab there. You can, yep. They do create a little suction to get off, but they're not too bad. You just slide your foot in. Arch your heel up a little bit. Pops right on. They do make a little suction noise, but hey. Not bad at all. And then you just, that little tab, I guess, is to hook, hook your other uh, shoe. You put your toe on there, it pops right off. So, yes, definitely what the doctor ordered. So I recommend these. I'm going to wear them a few days. Non-slip sole, steel toe, reinforced toe. Easy on, easy off. These are the Ace Work Boots. Description is Bullfrog Pro 2, uh, size 11. So anyway, if you like this video, crush the like button and we'll bring you more uh, water shoes <laughs> for this. Next thing we're going to have to do is build an arc. So we might have some arc building equipment later. Have a great day and happy 4th of July.